the thing is, uh, they want to do so. Yes, sitting down. All right. So they want to do so much that the problem is um, you eventually get a problem of logistics, where um, it's possible to make a game that incorporates everything they're looking for, but um, it, but the more that you incorporate into a game, you need a bigger and bigger space, and since. Um, we would want this to become eventually like a sort of standardized competition that would be played across the country. It would need to be um, played in a body of water that would be accessible to everybody, say a pool. And um, if you want a game that uh, asks for too much, you're not going to be able to fit it into a pool. You're going to need a lake, and not everybody has a lake. So um, it might be better to do just sort of, like I said, an Olympic style thing, where you have um, a bunch of individual separate competitions where um, it, where uh, each one based around a certain aspect that they want to do because I mean we built this entire thing in uh, what was it like two sessions right I this isn't so, actually connected to anything, right? so um, it, I mean this since we're working with PVP uh, PVC <laughs> and uh, not Tetrix um, these things are fairly easy to build so it would be possible for people to build multiple robots to compete and then, um, and then you could have a sort of thing where uh, each uh, competition would award points, and then you would have people that would win in certain divisions, and then somebody that could win overall. And that's nice. And it also, because as you mentioned, it's so easy to build the craft. A lot of your competition is going to be how well you do the accessories, programming the sensors, because this is going to be autonomous. You want to have stuff, stuff that's remotely operated with a joystick or a keyboard. You're going to use PAL sensors for color sensing to find a navigational buoy that's a certain color. You're going to have uh, ping sensors, ultrasonic. You're going to have uh, passive infrared, motion detectors, a lot of <laughs> tiers. So you're talking about a tiered competition thing. Yes. I mean, because you could have uh, one competition where it would be a stunt competition where people would be given, um, say, say, um, like a camera, like an uh, infrared camera, or a, it, or a, uh, or they'd be told about an infrared camera, or a, um, or a radar, thing, whatever, and uh, it, and they would be told for this one particular competition, your job is to avoid detection for this while um, it, while um, performing a specific task, and then the longer they evade detection, the more points they get, and that could be one competition. Or you could have another where you need to. Uh, reach a certain area while avoiding obstacles in a certain amount of time and whoever gets the best time wins that competition. Mm -hmm. Or you could have one competition where, um, it, where the people who are running the competition have this sort of standardized robot that they built which chases around whatever craft they do and mm -hmm. your task is to avoid that uh, pursuit vehicle while performing the task or something like that. There, there's a bunch no. of different stuff you're going to do but... <laughs> if you um, if you combine all that into one competition, you're just not gonna happen. No, it's just the restart. I like I like this 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 approach. Duly noted and recorded.